the much awaited Bernina Pro 790 has finally come out and it has a lot of interesting features, but how are those features any different from what was on previous models? And is it really worth it to shell out the cash? We're going to find out, but before we do, please subscribe and tap that notification bell to receive updates. Let's get into it. Bernina B70 released in 2015. It had a few outstanding features. First, it had multi-directional stitching, which meant that the feed dogs not only move front to back, but also left to right. It also had where you can create your own stitch patterns right there on the screen. And that was particularly interesting for those who like to do embroidery. You also had the BSR built into the machine was like the built-in walking foot and that was also a great feature in 2018 we saw an update to the b790 and it became the b790 plus standard 790 users were not left in the dark because they were offered the option to get a firmware update to update to the plus features plus they were able to get new hoops which i'm going to talk about in a second one of the standout features of the Plus was pinpoint placement, which allowed you to mark the four corners of your design and the machine would actually stitch within those parameters and not go outside of those four corners. So basically you're able to set the needle, as you can see, to stitch out right there at that corner. And then you would go forward and mark the next corner and so on and so forth. Bernina also made it possible to group and ungroup designs right directly from the sewing machine. And there are also a lot of other interesting computerized updates that were there, but I won't bore you with those details. I just want to give you a basic overview. Initially, the 790 had a regular screw that you use to tighten up the embroidery hoops but in the plus version they switched to a twist knob which made it more ergonomic as everyone already knows bernina always does a special edition of its most popular machines the 790 was no different it had the swarovski crystal version and then there were a few other versions that came out now that works our way up to where we are with the pro version of this machine. Let's take a look at one of the infomercials for this new machine and I will interrupt it with my commentary so that we can observe what is different about this particular machine. Well, I feel like I've, I've just always sewn. It's like a childhood friend I've grown up with. It brightens up my life, it brings me a lot of joy. As we can see, this machine is being marketed towards seniors. So we already know that this machine is going to be incredibly, incredibly expensive. The MSRP value is over $15,000. That's just a little side note. And the Bernina 790 Pro just adds a lot more joy to my entire process. The Pro has a matte finish instead of the shiny finish that was on the previous versions. Is that worth the extra money? I'm not so sure, but it will prevent glare as you're working. She goes off into this story about a mama and baby elephant quilt that she got the inspiration to make. It pulls at our heartstrings and makes us want to buy the machine, but we don't need to hear all that right now. We're just going to skip straight to the meat and potatoes. Well, we're going to start on the flourish for the mama elephant that comes out of her trunk. The app will allow me to leave the room and leave the machine unattended. I can always check and see where the progress is of the design. It will give me an alert when it comes time to make a thread change or if the machine has stopped for any other reason so we can go back and it's not sitting there idle with us wasting time doing something else. Okay, so the Pro has Wi-Fi. whoop de doo <laughs> They really should have had Wi-Fi on the machines many years ago but they're just now adding it and that's great. Uh, is it really worth the money though? I'm not so sure because without Wi-Fi, you can simply set a timer on your phone and come back to the machine and change out colors or whatever you need to do. And you also could use your USB stick to upload your designs, but that's neither here nor there. 
I'm just going to speed through this little part right here to get to the important stuff. And of course, it's a big day for me when I do learn a new feature or figure something out and then get to put it to the machine and give it a try. One of the new features on the Bernina 790 Pro is it has a ton of customizable quilt designs. These kind of files were only available to long armors and professionals, and so it's really great to have this as an option now. What I really like about these files is you can also morph them to the exact shape of your square. You tell the machine exactly where your corners are, and it will morph the design to fit that exactly. It'll look like you did a perfect square. Okay, so it sounds like there's some new built-in designs for quilting that were usually only on the long arm machines. That might be a good thing if you like to use built-in designs, but if you're not into using built-in designs and just prefer to free motion quilt, then this will be of no benefit to you. So far, I've been really, really hard on Bernina with this review of this 790 Pro. However, she just spoke about a new feature called Morph, and that feature is truly amazing, and it might be the main reason why you would even purchase this machine. I'm going to interrupt this little infomercial that we've been watching to give a clip from someone else who explains what Morph is. The Morph function is primarily used to adjust quilt designs to fit a square, irregular shape. For conventional EXP embroidery files, only limited adjustment is possible without the risk of compromising the embroidery quality. If the function margin spacing is activated, a distance in inches will be automatically set between the boundary box and the embroidery design. The spacing can be cancelled by pressing reset or clear. Select any positioning point and position the needle above the corresponding marked position on the fabric using the multifunction knobs. So, this lady might still be speaking a foreign language to some of you, so let me try to explain this a little better. So, you can have a shape that is not a perfect square and this pinpoint technology will move the points to fit that imperfect shape and then your design will fit inside of those points and also let's say for example you have a blanket stitch on the outside of the applique work that you're doing and then you want to quilt on top of that and the design is going to fit inside of those parameters well now you can offset the design by like a fourth of an inch or so so that it sits inside of those four points that you created and doesn't touch the blanket stitches. She also mentioned one other thing and that is the EXP file format. The EXP file format had limited adjustability to it. However, the new 790 Pro has had a bit of a facelift because it now has the BQM file format which allows you to have a limited scaling and the ability to modify stitches per inch. There's just one other thing that I wanted to show you from the infomercial. For years my husband has had lasers on his saw equipment and I'm going, why? You have lasers, that's just great to guide your eyes. So now. The Bernina 790 Pro has a laser and you can use it on so many features. Okay, well that's that. I'm not too impressed with the laser point on the machine because lasers have been on sewing machines for years now. And also you can easily add a laser onto your sewing machine by simply going down to Harbor Freight and buying a laser. Or you can go online and purchase one of those more expensive lasers. Uh, the only difference between a regular laser that you would buy and the laser that's on the Bernina is that the laser follows the needle uh, which makes it more accurate. That's cool and all but I don't think it's $15,000 worth of cool. Uh, a lot of the other features on this machine are excellent and I actually went to a dealership and tested out this machine and it is super super high quality so I know the machine would last a very long time. Uh, as far as problems with previous models, I really was unable to find 
problems with previous models. People break off the knobs on the machine, but knobs are easily replaceable. Some people break off the thumb screw, but that's also easily replaceable. Uh, some people had a frozen screen and that frozen screen usually came from doing a firmware update, but Bernina walks you through how to correct the frozen screen problem. So I really don't see any issues with this machine. If I had 15 grand to spend on a 790 Pro, would I do it? Yes, because this machine is of an extremely high quality and you do what makes you happy. If you're not in the market for such an expensive machine, there is one other offering that Bernina has that's under their Burnett line. I think that it's a great option and I'll try to share more about it in the next video, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing related content. Peace.